Oh, I just, I just think that we, that would be a, ri- a, a wrong message for well, us to send. And that's fine. Right. To, to, I mean, it's fine that, that it's that you feel it's a wrong message. I, I'm not sure I agree with the message either. I'm just saying what I'm hearing. This is me hearing a very frustrated committee that has time and time again, and I, a public I agree. that has given this testimony time and time again to shake the public confidence in the research program at the CDC, which I think, Mike, you acknowledge you heard it that way. Now, what that results in is is another another step, and, and I think this was a, a pretty impressive effort. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty impressed you got a committee to, to all come well, together okay. and write this. So, so that's pretty... It's extreme. Yes, it's extreme, but it's 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 attention gathered. It's, well, it's I, I, I I would just change that one word. Okay. Just real quickly speak to Len and yeah, then sure, Morris. Sure. And then Morris. Yeah. It, it's, I mean, I think what Nancy is saying, which is interesting, is um, it's it's really kind of the message under that's important. It's kind of the you know how do we sort of let folks know in some ways that there's a certain level of dissatisfaction and that what's happened six months ago is an issue for today. And I think, I almost kind of feel like the, the, the second motion that was written, that was described, um, was kind of differentiated into like four pieces. Mm-hmm. And, and one possibility might be, and actually Nancy said it initially, the first one that you mentioned was just one piece. I was wondering if we could just take that one piece, and I, I can repeat it real quickly because I think I know it, and then the second piece, third piece, fourth piece, which might we could vote on, that come close to what Rebecca is at least just saying, and that way we could get consensus on something that's more differentiated as opposed to one large piece. So, so the first piece that I heard, <clears throat> which I also heard Nancy re- echo, is that um, our committee, we, we move that our committee is frustrated with not hearing feedback on a very important recommendation that was made six months ago, and that we consider that um, recommendation important, and we would like to get some feedback about that recommendation concerning a change in leadership. So that's just the first piece of a four-piece thing that I heard Rebecca said. So I'm going to move that if there's not a motion on, on the floor there's and ask. It was withdrawn, so we're good. So if you move. Can we have a discussion on this? Okay. So, what, the, the, what, there's, there's, well, Morris had is 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 next. I think when you have a motion on the floor, it was you withdrawn. could amend it. Uh, Rebecca, it was withdrawn. It. Oh, all right. I'm just saying you can either withdraw it or am- so, so, so amendment. I, I so I'm, I'm just throwing that motion on the floor. If the other one had been withdrawn, if it's seconded, then we have a motion on the floor. Okay. Okay, Morris. Second. So now there's discussion. Okay, so wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> I'm confused. I, I, all right, so the motion on the floor. <laughs> uh, well, okay. okay. Uh, I'm not. We have a current motion from the Leonard. Current, so Leonard's Leonard, has, Leonard has a motion on the floor, correct? That's your motion. All right. All right. And then I called on Morris to discuss it okay. in the discussion. So, uh, it's, a, it's a friendly amendment to, to Lenny's uh, motion amendment. in that it is my feeling that. Uh, what? It was second. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was my feeling that in order to let the secretary understand the underlying rationale for some of the things that we are asking for, I think the the secretary has to see where it's coming from. Six months ago, the recommendation for changing the leadership, I don't think, uh, even though we feel the frustration, I don't think the secretary herself would see how frustrated we are. But now we're in in a different realm right now with Dr. Reeves having made his statement to the press, the New York Times, Mm -hmm. showing that he is biased in his uh, scientific approach to this illness, therefore pretty much, in my my view, uh, excludes him from any further research on CFS. And so, and I think that's an important part of of your your motion. you're asking me to um, basically agree to your friendly amendment that the kind of um, the, the issues really involve some quotes that he has made, mm-hmm. and that this further kind of makes us 
kind of upset about some of the issues that are going on. So I, I've said it a little differently than you. I like the way you said it better than I did, but, but your friendly amendment is accepted. Okay, any further discussion? All right, I, I think that uh, what we need, Ibn Becker, yeah. is... Yeah. Just um, to better understand, are we breaking this down now and trying to get uh, attack this as four separate right. mm -hmm. points? Yeah. I'm so we're more that. comfortable with that as an approach, yeah. and just as a just a further discussion, uh, one that's not lost on me anyway, and probably everybody. What you said regarding funding is clearly we don't want funding to stop. I mean, we want more, not less. So uh, your words weren't lost on us, and I think that's helping taking us in a different direction. All right, um, Rebecca, uh, do you want to? Uh, it's Lenny's motion. All right, but you're chairman of the committee. I'm just trying to get whether we, can, someone's going to well, write this. We, we, we will write it. We'll make yeah, sure it right. gets written down. Can All you right. give us a general sense of where it is, though, with the friendly amendment? Can yeah. you just put general? A absolutely. Um, we are, is someone writing? As we're, I am. We're kind of, you're writing? We are. Okay. Um, the recommendation as submitted um, last time, six months ago, um, we are resubmitting that recommendation. So we just have to repeat exactly the same recommendation. And we are saying that we are disappointed that we have not heard anything back concerning that recommendation. And we are interested in getting some feedback um, concerning, you know, whether that is going to be um, considered. And in addition, if this becomes more important now because of certain quotes that have been made in the New York Times um, concerning the retrovirus by the person in charge of the CDC program. Okay. And, and you'll give uh, Wanda and I the opportunity just to make sure it were, it's in English and it sounds Absolutely. good. Absolutely. Okay. Great. All right. I, I call the question. Oh, that's right. Uh, I call the question. So any, a second for that? Second. Yep. All right, uh, all in favor? Opposed? Okay, unanimous. Rebecca, number okay. two. Okay, let me read the next one. There are multiple case definitions for CFS. We have been pointed out, it has been pointed out repeatedly at CFSAC meetings. The CFSAC objects to their, the, the CFSAC objects to the CDC's use of a flawed case definition known as the empiric case definition. There are currently two case definitions, the Facudo and Canadian consensus definition, which are internationally utilized for diagnosis and research. Additionally, the IACFS ME has a pediatric case definition. We ask that the CDC accept the other definitions. Oh, oh, go ahead, friendly. Friendly I think amendment. we have a friendly amendment. All right. The motion is on the floor and second uh, to, change, uh, to, to recommend that uh, the current uh, CDC empiric definition is inadequate and inappropriate and that we recommend the current, uh, what's the name Facuto. of it? Facuto. Facuto. Computo. Uh, Computo. Of 1994 and the uh, Canadian. Canadian uh, consensus. Consensus definition, uh, okay. yeah. at, for, at, which include pediatric cases. Nancy. Okay, Nancy is next. I have a friend. This is open for discussion. Okay. Nancy. First, I think it simplifies it just to say to to abandon the empiric case definition. Okay. I also would add the phrase that that to conceptualize chronic unwellness okay. as the same thing as this illness. Okay. Is he, is Essentially, or what's the bigger word than essentially? Incorrect. It's I'm sorry, what are you saying? Fundamentally? Fundamentally, that's the word. Thank you. I needed a lawyer. I needed, a, I needed Christine and, and a lawyer. <laughs> Fundamentally incorrect. That, okay. that, that would be, I think, stronger language for, okay. for that. And then to accept the... the, the uh, the Fukuda Canadian and pediatric case definitions in the instead. Okay. And again, we'll take something from Rebecca and make sure it's worded correctly. Okay. Number three. 
Uh, wait, 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 we're on number two still. We, we, we want Nancy to Lieber vote on it and discuss it first. And let I, me read I, it back. I recall the question. Sure I thought we, oh, we didn't. For number one, not for number we're, two. We're number okay, two. we're still in discussion for number two. 